Hi folks, Andy Zoller here with Growmark FS. I'm the Territory Seed Manager and High Yield Specialist for Western Pennsylvania. Uh, we're fielding a lot of questions here on May 23rd, oh, about 30% of the crop planted, about whether or not we should be replacing long season hybrids with shorter season hybrids. A couple of things we want to remember about a corn crop is that corn will germinate and grow at about 46 degrees. Optimum growing temperature, however, is 86 degrees. If we put a seed in the ground at 50 degrees soil temperature, it'll come out of the ground in about 25 to 30 days. If we bump that temperature up to just 55 to 60 degrees, that same seed would come out of the ground in about half the time, about 10 to 14 days. And if we bump that temperature up just a little bit more and have our soil temps be 65 to 70 degrees, then we know that corn will come out of the ground in about 5 to 8 days. And if we go over 70 degrees and sustain that temperature, we can have corn come up in as little as 3 to 4 days. So with all that in mind, let's keep our eye on the prize. We know that it's our job to protect yield at all cost. We know that the top two factors in producing a great corn crop are soil conditions at planting and seed placement. We already talked a little bit about soil conditions at planting because we talked about temperature. But the other piece in that is moisture. If moisture is almost dry enough, we know that we can lose 10 to 20 bushels of yield uh, just by going in there when it's just a little bit too wet. <clears throat> so let's make sure that we're not in there. Let's not be mudding it in and lose 50 bushels right out of the chute. Let's make sure that we do our job and protect yield. Number two factor, seed placement. Two and a quarter inches to the top of the seed, four to five inches between seeds. We have to reduce um, competition between plants and we have to have every plant get out of the ground within 12 hours of one another. If we're going to have a good corn crop, remember, it's our job to protect yield. Finally, May 27th to May 30th is about the time that most farmers would start thinking about swapping out hybrids of long season for hybrids of shorter season in, in this area. If you've already planted your longest season hybrids and you're about 30% done, that probably isn't an issue for you. The hybrids you've currently ordered probably fit the bill just fine. Check with your Growmark seed specialist. See if there's any changes he thinks you should make. Don't forget the top two factors in planting a good crop and have a great season.